So good morning everyone. Um, it is Thursday. We have our full moon in Aquarius and I am pretty excited. Um, you know, this week I think has been a really eventful week for everyone. We have had some huge changes come about um, that really within the last three or four weeks you might have began feeling um, and this is definitely a culmination point. I do want to just be upfront and um, I think it's good to be positive and to share, you know, love and hope. But also, um, I want to say that there are some pretty difficult transits going on right now. Um, it is okay if you're not feeling like a ray of sunshine, if you're not feeling like the most highest vibrational creature you possibly could be right now. Um, we are human, and sometimes there are transits and things in our life that, you know, may have us feeling a little sober. Um... So right now, I'm going to talk about a little bit of the transits of what's going on right now, um, especially if it's affecting you in any way. It could be your mental health. It could be physical things in your life. It could be actual people in your life. Um, so right now, obviously, we have the full moon in Aquarius at 19 degrees. Um, so everyone within five degrees... Um, of that either way are going to be feeling it really hard if you're an Aquarius rising or an Aquarius sun. Um, also we have the sun which is in Leo right now is also squaring Uranus. So we have sun and Leo squaring Uranus and Taurus. So there could be, I mean, I will just come out and say it. Um, the energy may have been a bit challenging these past couple weeks and throughout, you know, right now, um, more challenging for those with lots of Aquarius placements and those with Taurus placements in your chart. Um, so just see where Taurus is in your chart. Obviously, if you're a Taurus sun or rising, um, you're going to feel it a lot. But you could also just see, well, where does Taurus land in your chart? It could be 10th house of career. It could be 7th house of relationships. Um, and the same with Aquarius. Um, you could have Aquarius in your 8th house of debt, of finances, of other people's money, of um, more of a carnal type uh, sex, passion, things like that. Um, you know, so it could be affecting you um, in a number of different ways. Also today we have Venus entering Leo. So we're moving out of Venus in Cancer, which I absolutely adore. Um, but I am also a Venus or a Cancer rising. So of course I would love that. Um, so now we're into Leo. And so um, I think the way we love and the way we show love is about to get so much bigger. Um, it's going to be very full of just some passion, maybe a little bit of drama, uh, but not necessarily a negative drama, just kind of over the top uh, romantic gestures and feelings. Um, what else do we have going on? Uh, I mean, Venus and Leo, that's pretty big. So it's going to be there for a little while. Um, and then our full moon in Aquarius. Um, in a couple days, we have our sun opposite Saturn. Um, so, but we'll talk about that when we get there. But a lot of this energy we would have been feeling um, even for like the last three weeks, definitely the last two weeks. But um, there are some big changes going on in a lot of people's lives. Um, with that being said, even if you do not feel your best, um, you can take this time, obviously, to set intentions, to charge some things to help you um, get through the next two weeks until we get to our um, our new moon, um, which is another time to set intentions. Um, so really, you can do it two ways. You could use this time this day to release things that no longer serve you, um, maybe things in your life that have began changing that you feel uncomfortable with or just you want to move into kind of a new way of thinking and of being. This is a great time for that. You can also always manifest and set intentions at this time. Um, it's just that mostly we'll say at the new moon, that's great for planting the seeds of something new, but you can still help propel along something that you've already had on your mind, that you've already been working towards right now during the full moon. So during this time, um, if you do not feel like, um, especially if you're into scripting, if you like to write about what you're manifesting, if you are not quite feeling it on this day, just know you will have a couple of days after this full moon to use that energy. So perhaps today you could use the day to charge some items or do whatever you want. Just meditate. And then when you're feeling more in um, just an uplifted mood, uh, you could begin writing about it, petitioning. Um, you could visualize it really 
the sky's the limit. You do whatever helps you. I'm just saying that if you're not exactly feeling your best, do not feel like you are pressured to do anything right now. Um, but for some people, if these changes have been quite hard on you the last couple weeks, then it might be inspiring you to maybe write about what change you'd like to see come about in your life or how you would like to be nurtured or supported um, just from the universe at this time. So this is still a great time for working whatever you want to work to see come into your life. Um, I myself am not going to miss the opportunity, but I did just want to come on here and just let you guys know that if you are feeling a little off, it is completely normal. And um, I just, uh, I kind of want to normalize just saying that sometimes that we don't always have to be like, this full moon is going to be amazing. And the biggest things of your life are going to happen right now. Like you can be honest and just say, you know what, there are some changes that you might be uncomfortable with right now. Um, you could have some loss in your life. Um, and that is okay because we are moving into something different. And if you are right now transitioning into that, to whatever normal you're about to be moving into, um, it's okay if you're a little uncomfortable. That is just fine. I hope you guys watched the video on um, just how I increase my femininity, um, just attraction. Attraction in general is not just physical attraction of um, feeling beautiful or looking beautiful. It is also attracting things to you. So manifesting um, if you're trying to attract a new job or new friends um, or a different way of being. Maybe you want to be a more um, positive person or just a person who has a little more energy in their day to do more. Um, so doing things and setting intentions right now or charging certain things, items that you might have. It could be like in the video, watch it. I just posted it. Um, it gives a lot of really good tips and ideas. Um, you know, doing that right now would be great. I also want you guys to look and see where Aquarius falls in your um, chart. It's very important that you have your natal chart information pulled up. And um, if there's anything that you want to manifest quickly or bring to you using your natal chart to know just where these energies and all these changes are happening that is what it really is all about um if let's say the eighth house doesn't really have anything let's say like aquarius is in your eighth house right now so the full moon will be doing all things that have to do with eighth house which i will um read them off and let you guys know um all things that are eighth house um it's loans finance taxes death rebirth transformation intimacy sex trauma fears power control other people's money debt partners money and the occult so if you have this moon in your eighth house obviously if you want to work with any of those themes it will all happen so much quicker now let's say you wanted to work with dating you wanted to work with um career you can still um plant seeds or you can still set intentions at this time um it's just that those things of where it falls in your chart are what might manifest a little quicker um also see where taurus is um where taurus lands in your chart um especially with uranus right now um, we have a lot of movement going there. You could also use whatever Taurus rules to also start to manifest. So you guys have a lot of wiggle room. Um, I was going to pull just a few cards and just see overall the energy of today. That is general energy. This new moon in Aquarius. What should we look forward to? You could also, guys, use this time to um, send intentions for protection, for um, your mental health, um, for comfort, um, things of that nature. Aquarius also has everything to do with science, with the internet um with people um, humanitarian efforts um, even just meeting new people um, so things around um, that will actually do really well today as well and the next couple of days surrounding so let's see what we have three seven of wands the devil Ooh, 
Six of Pentacles. And we have the Eight of Swords on the bottom. Guys, right off the bat, the Seven of Wands is a card of holding your ground, of protecting yourself, standing up for yourself. Um, this is a sign of do not give up, um, especially if there are things, maybe people in your life that you feel like you have to defend yourself from. Um, this is not one of like the hermit of going into yourself and drawing away. Um, this is whatever you're fighting for right now, um, it is worthwhile and um, you standing up for yourself or you holding firm in whatever you're wanting, it could be something you want to manifest or honestly it could be directly against other people, um, you are valid for that. We also have the devil, um, which has a lot to do with um, you know things that can hinder us, um, kind of like our vices. It is the darker side of us. Um, but the great thing about that is we have the six of coins, which is one of charity. Um, overall, the feeling I get, especially with this being on the bottom, the eight of swords, uh, you know, this is just something that you might feel a little restricted at this time. Um, your vices or maybe your fears could maybe have be getting the best of you, especially when you feel like you need some type of protection. You feel like things are coming at you from every way. Um, I would honestly, I would pray for, I would ask for um, protection. I would pray for people to come into your life that will be more supportive if it is the people that you are around right now who are kind of um, bringing you down. Um, I mean, I would pray for just more support from, from God, from your angels, um, from whoever you look up to during this time. Um, I know this card does give hope that, um, you know, not only, you know, charity and making sure that you feel like you're supported, but actual help if you need actual financial help right now, or maybe help um, removing yourself from your vice. Your vice could actually be a relationship or a friendship that is no good for you. Um, it could be substances, drugs, also re represented from the devil, alcohol, um, you know, <laughs> those things that are bad. Um, and so you can ask for help. Do not be afraid. And also this could, for some people, this could be you checking up on someone else in your life right now who needs your support. Maybe someone who uh, right now it's kind of difficult to talk to them, but if you just reach out, don't bring up the past and just kind of lend an ear to them right now, that could be really helpful because a lot of people are feeling just really trapped, um, kind of away from their spiritual self. And, um, I think we have to be very supportive. I want to get one more card on for this six of coins. One more card to explain. Coins. Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups. So we're definitely going to be walking away from something, and it definitely is an old way of feeling. And it definitely, if you feel like you are on your guard, if you're defensive, we are moving away from that right now. Um, oh, an Ace of Cups. <laughs> I love it. Um, gosh, this is new beginnings in love and your emotional well-being um and just your intuition and being stronger in your spiritual journey um so yeah all in all guys if you are feeling or any of this resonates with you um just know there is a lot of hope i mean this is just all about love not only love for other people or from other people, love for yourself. It's a creative awakening. So if you feel like you've been stuck creatively um, or in love or emotionally, um, we, have an we have amazing things coming. And so for a lot of you, this full moon, you will be using it exclusively to let go of those things that you do not want to bring into your future. Those feelings, whether it be some type of heartache or some type of depression, um, you will be moving away from that right now and you'll be setting intentions um, to overcome it, to become stronger and to have a completely new future. So I'm really excited guys. Um, and I love talking with you. <laughs> so let me know if any of this resonates and I'll see you in my next video.